Hey, what's up, YouTube? You're watching Ready, Set, Drone, and today I am here with Mel. Uh, you might know Mel as the guy who, first of all, gave me this cool hat, and second of all, the guy who prints these cool 3D uh, things for drones and did this cool logo for Ready, Set, Drone, which is blowing up Instagram for me. Well, not really blowing it up, but it's been, it's been very well received. <laughs> Hey Mel, how are you? Good, 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 good. Kelly, how are you? I'm doing well. Today, Mel and I are going to try out something that I've asked, been asked a few times, and that is, can one drone track another drone using the Follow Me feature built into uh, the software? So we thought that if we had a big enough drone like Mel's Inspire, we could give it a try and follow him with my uh, Mavic Pro Platinum. So let's check it out and see what happens. All right, Mel, so you travel all around in this big rig. Uh, tell that's, me a little bit about... Uh, that's what I do. What you, yeah, so what do you deliver mostly? I'm, mostly I move extra equipment for GE Healthcare. Nice. I get um, brand new CAT scans, MRs, nuclear imaging cameras, whatever the case might be. Expensive stuff. Oh yeah, when, if you go to a hospital that I've been to and you get a CAT scan or an MRI done... You might have brought that machine And it's there. a GE machine, there's a good chance that <laughs> I'm the guy that put it right where it's at. Sweet. Well, yeah, that's that's what I do mostly. Well, how does that relate to drones? Um, not worth a hoot. <laughs> <laughs> well, tell me a little bit about 400 AGL. What does AGL stand for? Above ground level, believe it or not. I did know that. I, yeah, I know you did. <laughs> um, I got the, the, the idea for the channel because we're not supposed to fly above 400, 400 feet. feet, right? Right. So 400 feet AGL came to life. So, so um, the theory here is this has the ability to follow things through the software. You draw a square around something and you know if you have somebody riding a bike, it can follow them. If you have somebody riding a skateboard, I've done all those things, but can it follow another drone in the air? One nice thing today, it's kind of gray out and I feel like it might help us in terms of light and contrast. The contrast is gonna be much more even and I think that speed will be really important. I think if I just punch the Inspire, oh, yeah, it's gonna your, Mavic, your Mavic's gonna say, see ya. Yeah. yeah. Um, but if we move around real slow, I think there's a chance it might work. Cool. I really do. I think so. So our plan is to put the Inspire up in the air, then put the Mavic up in the air behind it, uh, use the follow me function, and then just basically see if we can get it, if I can let go of the sticks and if it'll fly following that drone in a nice smooth arc and then we'll try some uh, we'll try some turns and you know maybe an altitude change and see what it does and see how that goes. We'll just play around with it a little bit. So stick around. Let's see what happens. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, you ready? Ready. Okay, spin them up. And draw the square. And I'm going to say go. All right, now go. Away from me. Okay, my bird is following you. Is it really? Yep, yep, it is. It thinks you're a bicycle. <laughs> All right, stay low like that because it's it's the contrast is great against the green. Now make a big left turn. Actually, go the other way. Uh, uh, yaw left. Yeah, keep yawing left. Yes. Okay, you're right under me and you're almost out of view. Okay, a little slower. Yeah, you're over the blue bonnets. Oh man, that looks so cool. I'm um, really close to you, so go down a little lower. You hear that beep? That's that's uh, that's me being too close to you. I'm gonna go up just a little bit higher. I'm gonna go up to 50 feet. What are you at in height? 45. Okay, I'm gonna go up to like 52, 53. I am tracking you like nobody's business though, and I am not touching the sticks right now. I'm seeing you in my tail uh, camera. Yeah, yeah. We're just getting a little close at times. Oh. Well, let's hope your collision avoidance works. I hear it beeping. <laughs> Yeah, it is working. Wow. Yeah, okay, so don't go under me. Give, say, make sure you stay out where I, my camera can see you. It is killing it, man. Haven't touched the stick except to put it a little higher one time. All right, it's still with you. You're going a little faster now, I can see. Yeah. Okay, I got a red, so slow down because you're getting a little too far away. It's it's uh it's telling me uh, cuz what happens is the square that's around your around your bird um, actually turns red when you get too far. And by the way, we should have mentioned this at the outset. 
The winds today are pretty strong. We're having gusts of about 20, 25 miles an hour and we're having a constant, uh, oh yeah, look at that. You went right under me and I am still tracking you. Uh, you went right on the edge of my frame. Now I have lost you, I've lost you. Hold on a second. Uh, I think it's cause you went so, you went under my frame. Okay, stay right there. Let me uh, see if I can recover the track. Go, okay. All right, now I'm tracking you again. Uh, what I was saying is the winds are gusting at 25 miles an hour and the constant wind is probably about 15 miles an hour. So it's- 10 and, to 12 constant gust to 18. And it's probably, but it's probably stronger up there. Oh yeah. That wasn't where I wanted to be. <laughs> so listen to how quiet that thing is. That's incredible. That, all right. That worked way better than I was expecting. I'm, I'm impressed. It, it, it followed you, I'd say 80% of the time. The only time it started to lose you is when you kind of went to the edge of the frame. The uh, active track wasn't able to, uh, basically it's a square on the screen. And when it gets too close to the edge, it starts losing you. Like, so basically you have to be in my camera's, I'd say Viewable center. area. Yeah, yeah, right. but well within the viewable area. Right. All right, so we know it works now with the Mavic Pro. Let's try it with the Mavic Air. Here we go, I'm coming up now. All right, so I've got the Mavic Air at 50 feet, and you're sitting at 30? 30? 32, yeah, 32. 30. I'm gonna see if I can see his, uh, see his bird. And it should be right over here somewhere. There it is. All right, so let's get out over the grass again, because it's, with the cement, it's actually kind of hard to see the bird, but against the grass, it's real easy. Okay, that's good right there. Okay, I'm at 48 feet. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go forward just about five feet. There you go, now you're over the grass. You, you were over the road for me before. All right, right there, stop. Let me get a little closer. What's your distance? 115 feet. Okay, I'm at 78. And I'm at 31 high. I'm at 80 and 45, so this should work. So let's try it here. We're gonna go to active track. Okay, and we're gonna draw a little square around you. And we're gonna hit go. All right, try to, oh, yeah, I'm on you. Try to lose me. All right, guys, once again, I am not touching the stick. Um, the Mavic Air in very high wind, as you can see, it says high wind velocity, is uh, chasing um, is chasing Mel's Inspire One, and it seems to be doing fine. So do a big looping arc to the left over those flowers again. Yep, that's where I'm headed. Cool. Can you see me in your camera? No, I'm. I've got my camera looking at the ground now, so I can see where I'm at. Oh, okay, cool. So I can see the flowers and all. I couldn't see none of that before because I was watching your bird behind me. Yeah. Well, uh, well, I have not touched the stick since we started, and it seems to be just uh, cruising along. Now you are getting a little distance from me. Oh, now I'm right above you. It's interesting. It almost feels like my camera is tilting a little bit. Um, I don't know if it's doing that or not. I don't think it's it's actually tilting. I think it's staying in the same position but uh, the bird is kind of going up and down. I've stayed at 45 feet pretty much the whole time. And again, this thing is tracking the Inspire One without any trouble. Okay, you just went out of my, you just went out of my active track, so you just lost me. Uh, let me, let me re, let me re-catch up to you. Again, it's saying strong wind. I'm still at 45 feet, what's your height? 30. Man, you look big in my frame because you're a big bird. Uh, <laughs> let me, let me uh, go back to active track and draw another square, hit go, okay. I'm almost right above you now. I'm showing 574 feet away, what's your distance? 600. Okay, so yeah, we're about 25 feet apart. Which is and I'm, as... I'm, I'm rotating back this way. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, once again, now that I have a lock on you and your center of my frame, this thing is, is just keeping up with you like butter. And again, the wind has gotta be having some impact All right, cool. You want to bring it back this way? I'm at 58 feet. What's your height? 30. Okay, cool. 
And you know you got to give a little plus or minus uh, for error on that. Sure. Yeah, you're going fast, and I'm staying with you. And I'm staying with you over the concrete, uh, which it's it's uh, tracking really well over the cement and all the lines. You know, I thought that might mess it up, but no, it's tracking you. Oh, okay, I just lost you. Yeah, I'm headed back toward the grass. I was getting more over the concrete than I wanted to be. I'm gonna get your bird landing from the air, from my bird. Oh, actually, you know what? Let me go right above you and get you landing with a straight down shot. All right, I'm at 80 feet. How high are you? 40. Okay, I should be well above you then. And it shouldn't really, my little bit of wind shouldn't really impact you're not you. Gonna, you're not gonna hurt me, nope. Okay. And I'm looking straight down. Oh yeah, look at that. Let me square it up a little bit. Okay, you wanna land it? And I'll just uh, kind of follow you down. <laughs> All right. Good stuff. So, can you active track with the Mavic Pro and the Mavic Air against something like the Inspire? Yes. You Absolutely. Can. And so, it was it was cool. It was fun to do it, too. It was. I, well, it was not a lot of work for me. I just let go of the stick and these guys just follow. <laughs> uh, the trick is to keep the uh, keep the square in the center so that this thing can always kind of have room so that, you know, the one the couple of times I lost you was when you went too close, when when you got a little too far out of the edge of my frame. It, or maybe, and that might have been because we were too close together. Yeah, yeah. You know, we were staying 20, 30 feet apart. If we'd have been more like 100 feet apart, I don't know what the range is on the tracking. Yeah, the problem is you get too small in the image. Is if, that what if, it you get, if you get too far away, then then that isn't big enough for it to stay. You know, it, it, gotcha. it needs a fairly big target. And that's why I don't think you could actually track uh, you, I don't think you could track a Mavic Air with a Mavic Air because it's so small, but the Inspire being so much bigger, it seemed to work. I think it worked great. I'm pleased with it. So guys, if you haven't checked out Mel's uh, channel, 400agl.net is the website and 400agl on YouTube. Right. Uh, right. And he told me he's going to start an Instagram account so he can uh, yeah. stalk us all. Uh, there is another 400agl out of Chicago. That's not him. He's uh, Yeah, not, not .com. Make sure you go .net. It's real important. You yeah. won't get me. The other thing that uh, Mel does that's really interesting is a lot of 3D printing. He printed that little logo for me, as I said, and he's printing some cool drone parts that you might want to check out at some point. Yep, yep. I'm gonna have uh, I'm gonna have some really cool stuff available for sale pretty soon. And he drives this badass truck. The Flying Eagle Hilton, everybody. There you go. All right, well, if you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up, a like, and if you want to know more about drones and big trucks, visit uh, or subscribe to Ready, Set, Drone and 400 AGL. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.